guys, welcome back to my channel. If you watched my weekend vlog last week, you'll know that this week's video is going to be a haul of a few bits that I've picked up for my winter capsule wardrobe. So after doing my capsule wardrobe video, I went through my wardrobe and worked out which pieces I was missing. So over the past week or so, I've done a bit of online shopping, especially as Black Friday was last Friday. So I thought today that I would share with you the pieces that I've picked up. So the first piece I picked up was actually this jumper from French Connection. I have quite a few just normal knitwear jumpers and this one was just a bit different. I love the way that it's got a slit on the shoulder so it's got a slight cold shoulder. It's got quite a high neck so it's more of a cow neck and then it's got this beautiful um, ribbed knit detail on it. It's so warm, I normally don't go for anything that's got a cold shoulder because I get so cold during the winter. But this jumper is actually really thick so you can get away with having a cold shoulder because the rest of your body is so warm that you don't really notice having the slits on your shoulders. So the next top I picked up was from Zara. This is just part of their knitwear collection and it's just a really simple, quite thin wool jumper. It's this beautiful dark grey, which is really nice and thin, but it's so warm at the same time. This jumper is so soft, you really can't notice that there's any wool in it, but it really just helps to keep you nice and warm. You could easily put a long sleeve top underneath this, or you could put a jumper on top. So it's just a really versatile basic, which I know I'm going to get a lot of wear out in the winter, and even in the autumn and spring months too. So the next two pieces are from ASOS. I love going on ASOS and just having a little look around, especially when they've got 20% off. It just means that their basic pieces are just that little bit more affordable. So I picked up two t-shirts that are in the same style. They are the lightweight v-neck t-shirts and they have a lovely v down the front and then they've got this sort of linen feel and look to them. The one thing with this white top is that it's really sheer, so you'd have to wear a nude bra under it, or even if you just wanted to wear a darker bra and have it as more of a statement piece underneath, that would look really nice as well. But it's just a really simple, quite long t-shirt, which is perfect for layering in the winter, but I can also see myself just wearing it on its own in the summer. And then the black one is exactly the same, but obviously this one, you can wear a bit more easily just because it's still got that sheerness to it but because it's a darker colour you can wear whatever bra you want underneath it. Moving on to footwear pieces, when I made my ASOS purchase for those two tops I also bought a pair of boots. I have been on the hunt for some basic black ankle boots for a really long time and I saw these and thought I need to get them. They are a gorgeous black suede ankle boot that have a slight heel and then they've got this beautiful stud work on them and then you've got buckles on one side and then on the other side you've got a zip to do them up. I just absolutely love them. So the final two pieces I have are bags. I picked them up from ASOS as well. ASOS just seems to be taking over the haul this time. I only have two bags in my collection and I feel like I really want to start accessorising my outfits with bags. I find that it's a great way to add some colour or just completely change your look with the accessories that you're wearing. So the first bag I got is this clutch bag. I have one clutch bag that I bought back in uni from Primark, I think. It's completely fallen apart and it just needed completely updating. I found this gorgeous black clutch bag from Claudia Canova, which I'm hoping I'm saying that right. And it's made from fey leather. So it's got this beautiful grain on the leather. And then on the side you've got gold end bars, which just make it look like a really classic piece. Inside you have three pouches. You've got the middle one, which is quite small. You can literally just pop a card or a train ticket in there. And then the two outside pouches have magnetic poppers, which is brilliant. And then it's also got this beautiful, really delicate gold chain. The chain is detachable, so if you wanted to just take it out of the clutch, you could. Or if you wanted the versatility of popping it over your shoulder, you could too. And the final bag I picked up is this beautiful wine-coloured tote bag from Cavella, 
which is actually the sister company for Kurt Geiger, which I didn't realise. And it's just a stunning little tote bag. I love the feel and the colour of this. It is faux leather, but it really feels like actual leather. It's so soft, it's got the beautiful grain work that leather has. And then the handles have these gorgeous gold details and it is secured with a zip, which is always really useful and handy. This handbag also comes with a shoulder strap, which is exactly the same color as the bag itself. And then inside, it just has a little pocket at the back so you can put in your wallet or your phone if you want, just want to have a bit more security there. But apart from that, there's no other pockets inside. And then on the bottom, you've got stud work. So you've got little feet in each corner, which means that when you pop it down on the ground, the bag isn't sitting directly onto the floor. I am so happy with this bag and I will be wearing an absolute ton. So there are still a few pieces that I need to get for my winter capsule wardrobe. But apart from that, that is kind of everything sorted. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And let me know what fashion videos you'd like to see in the future. I have really enjoyed putting my capsule wardrobe together and I really enjoy doing style videos. So if you've got any ideas of types of videos that you'd like me to do in the future, then please let me know and I will try and do them for you. So I hope you have a lovely rest of your week and I will see you next Wednesday. Bye.